The following contest is in the Professional Roctagon Flyweight Division, and it is brought to you by Mr. James Jetta. Introducing first, making his way down the aisle, please welcome Alan Lerma. Alan Lerma from Gracie Baja MMA. Las Cruces, New Mexico makes his way to the cage. Coming in with a record of 0-1. Yeah, the, the weigh-ins yesterday, he looked very calm, collected. He got on a, I got on the scale, he rehydrated great. He looks like a guy who's been here before and uh, he had a lot of confidence in weigh-ins. Real interesting story, an outstanding soccer player. He wanted to play professionally in Mexico. He started fighting, started doing jujitsu, and he fell in love with it. Uh, started boxing when he was seven. He's like a, so a martial artist almost since uh, you know, the time he knew how to throw a punch. And if he's in soccer, I don't think conditioning should be an issue. Absolutely, that's a great point. Only 24 years old. He only won as a pro, but he was six and two as an amateur and won three titles as an amateur. He's a guy who I've talked to him before. He, want, he said he wants to keep him standing. Uh, he knows his opponent is, is a grappler. Yeah, what's funny is he's a great jiu-jitsu guy and he wants to keep him standing. Well, as we'll talk about when Chewy Urbina comes out here, he's a collegiate level yeah. wrestler. Yeah. And uh, Lerma sees that as his best route to victory, keeping it standing. And his opponent making his way down the aisle. Please welcome Jesus Chewy El Urbina. Chewy Urbina. I think it's, he's a crowd favorite. Uh, wrestled at uh, Me Mexico Highlands Division II school. And a real exciting guy. He exploded out of there. And as fast as he got out here to the ring, that's as fast as he fights. He keeps a tremendous pace. And excellent grappler and went the distance, lost the distance in a jujitsu match against none other than Benson Henderson. Oh, really? He's got some, and, and obviously fighting up. Yes, yes. As we he, take a uh, look at the tail of the tape. Yep, yeah, the tail of the tape's pretty even. Uh, Allen's got a little bit of a reach advantage. And the way that um, Jesus could control or, you know, cut the distance with his speed, I, I don't even know if the um, reach advantage is going to be an issue. Because he's going to cut the distance quickly. The following contest is a professional bout in the Roctagon Flyweight Division, and it is brought to you by Mr. James Jetta. Introducing first in the blue corner, he fights out of Las Cruces, New Mexico. He weighed in at 127 pounds, representing Team Gracie Barras Las Cruces with a professional record, zero wins, one loss. Please welcome Alan Lerma. And his opponent in the red corner, he fights out of El Paso, Texas. He weighed in at 125 pounds, representing 10th Planet Jiu-Jitsu El Paso with a professional record, zero wins, one loss. Please welcome Jesus Chewy Arpina! This bout is scheduled for three five-minute rounds, and when the action begins, your referee is Mr. Kerry Hatley. Alan Lerma, black Hayabusa fight shorts. Both men look confident in the crowd is like. Chewy Urbina, black spandex shorts with the red trim. It's Kerry Hatley, third man in the middle. Ryan Cavanaugh with the All-American, Nick Nutter bringing you all the action. You can't event center El Paso. And Chewy Urbina explodes out. Lerma, though, very calm, takes the center of the cage. Yeah. As calm as he was yesterday at the weigh-ins, Lerma is in the middle. And Chewy Urbina telling him to punch him in the yeah, face. He's inviting the punch to the chin. Ooh, that was a hard kick to the stomach. But on a wrestler, he secured it. And I'm guessing he's getting the takedown. Lerma with some excellent takedown defense and balance. Urbina had him up, could not con complete the takedown. And now, from your yes. bat wrestling back on, yes. this is just, if there's a will, he's getting him down. Yeah, he got him down, and uh, Lerma had to be a little careful about grabbing the fence there. Kerry Hatley, referee, uh, third man in the, in the Roctagon, he is as good as it gets. Yeah. He was leaning on it, he didn't put his fingers in it. And there's a distinction, you can push it, but you can't have the fingers inside of it. And Urbina now is showing that grinding wrestling style. Has him up against a cage, looking to land some punches to the body. 
Now, me personally, I like the way Jesus is fighting. You get the takedown, you bring him up against the cage, and this is old school ground and pound MMA. The sport's evolved a lot since then, and uh, Alan Lerma being a great jiu-jitsu, he's not gonna just uh, take the beating. And he's doing a great job of not taking punishment. Lerma landing a strike yeah. there, an elbow from the bottom to the side, and there's Urbina. What he wants to do is posture up, but he's going for a leg. He's Drops down for a submission. submission. On the jiu-jitsu, Gracie Exler. Uh-oh, I see Grimace in his face. He's uh, rolling. I don't think it may be clear. Lerma yeah. rolling. I know it hurts. This is one of those submissions. It's a, it's not a heel hook, it's an ankle lock. And it, it's, if you could deal with the pain, you could almost, oh, now he's got a heel hook. This one could break. Heel hook. This one could break Lerma. if he doesn't tap. Oh, and he got out, he got out. He sure did, and, now, and, and, and Lerma could end up on top here. Yeah, he's he just got his, his, has to know when to give it up. Urbina is still working on it, though. Chewy, almost like. Yeah. Yeah, now he gave a, a Gracie Jiu Jitsu guy your back, and that's not what you want to do. And, oh, God, and he Urbina's followed up. the kick. What action inside the Roctagon. This crowd is hot. Lerma takes center cage. Urbina with the leg kicks. Guys, hands are up good. I know conditioning is not going to be an issue in this fight. Oh, yeah. head kick, and he, Lerma quickly closed the distance and threw it. Went for that leg kick again. He's got to be careful. Yeah. That's how uh, Chewy Urbina got the takedown last time. Yeah, but I, but both leg kicks landed, and that's going to soften up his ribs and might bring down his hands later in the fight. Nick, is this getting back to his feet? Is this giving Lerma more confidence that he can get up off the ground? I think so. I, I don't think he was ready for um, Urbina to go for a, a, a ankle lock. I think that really surprised him, and, and I saw a grimace in his face. I know it was painful, but uh, he was able to get out of that. Ooh, straight Lerma left now with a southpaw. nice left hook there. Front hook, Ooh. and Urbina pulling it on. Chewy, yeah, nice would... combination. Ooh, and there's the... another body kick. Yes. Just closing the distance is amazing for Urbina. Oh, it's just the speed, the quickness, yeah. constant movement. But I guarantee he's going to feel those tomorrow. Well, those are solid leg kicks yeah. that Lerma's throwing. We're inside two minutes, first round, scheduled for three five-minute rounds. And Urbina now. He's looking for a, is he looking for like a guilty? Oh, now he's got the back. He's got both boots in, and he sucked in. The, he snuck that in. He's got it in. Chewy Urbina has it. it. I think it's deep. It's deep. Now, yeah, and he he's tapped. got the two. Wow. Chewy Urbina submission victory. Oh, he was not ready for that. You know, you, you break one second and it slaps on you that quickly. He was not ready for it. And uh, he's, he's surprised that uh, Urbina got to slap it on so quickly. Excellent quickness by Chewy Urbina, taking his back and sinking it in. Urbina moves to one and one. And look at the technique here. He just front face lock. Beautiful transition here. He scared him with the guillotine and he went to his back. Great job by Julie Urbina. Round one, submission. Moves to one and one. The technique was perfect though. Excited corner there, and we send it up into the center of the Roctagon for Jake Digman to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner at three minutes and 52 seconds of the first round by rear naked choke submission, Jesus Chewy Albina! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with the man known as Chewy. You came out of the locker room and you never stopped moving until the end. How tough was your fight? I mean, he's a tough opponent, but I just knew I was gonna wear him out before he wore me out, so that was a game plan. How close do you think you had, were to submitting him with the leg lock? I mean, the straight ankle lock was close. The heel hook wasn't really locked in, so. Well, you got it done with the jiu-jitsu, an excellent transition to take his back. First round submission victory. Anybody out there you want to thank? Everybody who came to support me, thank you guys. Ten time.
my family, my friends. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. One more hand. Give it up for your winner, Chewie.